Elliot Grinch. All right, what's going on everyone? Game Boy EG, Elliot Grinch here, back with another LSPDFR GTA 5 quick tutorial. And um, in this video, I'm just gonna pretty much try to give some quick tidbits and um, some, some uh, guidance on trying to achieve 60 frames per second or at least the high 50s. So I, I've taken some ideas that I found from other people, suggestions, and um, tried to put a little quick video together, try to give you a baseline on, you know, what to install into your game to try to stay in the high, high 60s. I know the biggest issue with LSPDFR is trying to keep up uh, good frames per second because we all start off with like 100 plus frames per second and then once we start implementing the uh, mods especially from lspdfr starts to go downhill from there so um as you can see in the upper right hand corner of your screen my frames per second right now are at 60 and above and i am on duty as you can see so i'm on duty haven't gotten into too much yet all right so one tidbit that i, I definitely recommend is and I'm, I forget the person's name, but I'm gonna leave the link for their video. And you know, you can check out some of their videos. Um, but down below, I'll leave the link in the description. But one thing I, I like I said, that, that I believe um, with playing LSPDFR for so long is less is better. So the less mods you have for LSPDFR implemented, the better your gameplay will be in your frames per second. You can have, you, you can't have it all. It is what it is with LSPDFR. You can't, you just can't. If you can figure it out, please let us know down, down below in the comments. <laughs> Share with us, all right? Other than that, uh, that's the biggest issue. But um, anyway, I've gotten away from a lot of menus. So one in particular, I pretty much just started using or utilizing menu. I got, I've gotten rid of Simple Trainer. I've gotten rid of, um, uh, the other one, um, in, in Enhance Trainer, I believe that's the name of it. I've gotten rid of those um, unless I need them, you know, even with the maps, like the map editor. You know, if, if it's not, if I can't convert it to a wide map and just use it for that particular role play, then I, I, may, not, I may have to do without it. But um, I've, I've gotten into just use, utilizing menu a lot more. Another thing is, I've gotten rid of um, EUP. I'm just going to show this because this is the tip that I got from another video. It makes sense. So um, I unload the EUP menu. So we're going to unload EUP menu. Like I said, less is better. The less menus you have or the less plugins and, and scripts and things of that nature that you have hooked into your game, the better. So I've gotten rid of that. And what, the reason I've done that is because I've transferred... Um, a lot of the uh, wardrobes to menu which makes sense great idea so the outfits I, I pretty much have most of them done I just have a few more that I have to do but as you can see these are all the outfits from EUP right into the menu trainer which is great Because you still have the EUP items installed. It's just you're not using that menu any longer. And, and keep in mind, like I said, because when you have menus open also, as you can see, my frames per second have dropped. When, when you do open menus, that's going to bring down your frames per second. I'm going to show you that. Even with like um, CompuLite, Computer Plus, I, I've, showed, I've detailed this in another previous video. You can take a look at that. But um, I just wanted to show you you know and depending on which menu screen as you can see the frames per second shifts and changes as well but once you close it out you go right back to normal so we'll go inside the car uh, I'm just gonna open up CompuLite so I prefer CompuLite the same way I used to like um, Computer Plus I like for the um, you know the, the, the gameplay to keep going but as you can see with the menu open we take a hit in the frames per second and depending on where you at that that's going to also make a you know that's going to also play a part so keep these things in mind 
okay but once we come out of there um as you can see <coughs> excuse me so we'll do the grab cones from stop the pad no hits in the frame per second so like i said it, it, it depends, you know, I'm going to show you what mods I have installed, and it's up to you. This is just a baseline, um, or where you should, where my suggestion, where you start with the mods, um, as far as for your gameplay, it, you know. So the troublesome areas will be Vinewood, which will we'll teleport over there right now, to the Vinewood area. Um, the only visual effect that I have in here right now is I, I've gotten rid of uh, the blur so I made my blur completely zero so let's take a look at my settings hold on my graphic settings are here so I have direct X and you know go to my about in YouTube and you'll see my computer specs my main gaming computer <coughs> excuse me I'm on window board windowed borderless 1920 1080 FX AA is on MS AA is off V sync is on pause game on focus on um, my population variety variety is high my distance scaling is high you can lower these may make a difference um, population density a little bit um, texture quality is all high except for my my grass quality is normal that's because when I put in certain maps I don't want the grass coming through the ground, through the uh, floor. So that's just for me. You know, you can put yours on high. It's up to you. Post effects ultra motion blur strength is um, is off. I turned it off. I put them all on zeros within the um, visual settings. I, I put everything motion blur to zero. Um, game depth of fields on x16 high and very high so you can take it you know slow the video down take a little copy if you want it's up to you my advanced settings my advanced graphics settings everything is off okay so this is another one of the troublesome areas and it's when you drive through because there are a lot of peds in this area a lot of peds a lot of detail things happening so when you're driving through you'll notice that the frames per second will, will go lower. So as you can see, like definitely a roundabout here, when you slow down, if you make a traffic stop over here, you, you'll have good frames per second. It's just driving through this area. So like if you do a chase through here, you're gonna hit low fit, you know, not maybe low 50s, depending on your computer, mid 50s, you know, but as you can see, I'm still in the high, the upper 50s, 60 frames per second. I used to have a lot of problems over here. So I really had to revamp my game. You know, but like I say, you do a traffic stop over here, you'll be in the 60 frames per second. So this is one of those troublesome areas. This, this area, Davis, Mission Row, those areas within the city, it, it, you know, really take a, a toll on the game, the gameplay um, with LSPDFR, not with regular GTA 5, but with LSPDFR. So I'm going to do a traffic stop just to show you. Oh, I meant to, uh, yeah, good, man, go. I meant to pull him over. So I just want to show you. So as you can see, with the gameplay going on, LSPDFR, LSPDFR is kicked in. So I took a drop. We're down to 50 frames per second. And you see where we're at. And I'm going to show you the mods that I have installed. I don't have a lot installed in the game. But it's like areas like here, uh, Mission Road, Davis. When LSPDFR goes to do its thing, this, these are the things that these are the items that's gonna bring your game down. So as far as Albo mods are concerned, I have um, Police Smart Radio, um, Police Smart Radio, Traffic Policer, as you can see, and um, Police Smart Radio, Traffic Policer, and that's it. I, I I took out Arrest Manager, 
way back. I've, I've been to took that out. I use it occasionally, but really I've gotten away from it. It is what it is. Like I used to use it just for adding more jail drop-offs, but I've had to uh, stray away from that. But as you can see, we're back up into the 60 frames per second. And um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. So like I said, once LSPDFR kicks in, you saw how the uh, frames per second dropped down. So we're gonna let this guy go. We're gonna cancel the, um, well, you know, I'm gonna open up um, CompuLite real quick, just to show you once again. And now we, we've gone into the, the upper 40s, you know, 48 to 50, with CompuLite open. Now, if we go into another screen, it goes lower. We open up another one, we are down into th lower 30s with opening up that screen. So pretty much the same thing will happen even with Computer Plus installed. It's gonna happen. Okay, so keep those keep those things in mind. But when you close out the menu, you'll go back up. All right, so let's cancel this traffic stop. All right. So another mod that I like, I, as you can see, I have um, Don't Let Me Smash. I, I've always been using this for quite some time because um, I do things like for my um, traffic lights. Sometimes I want to turn the siren off, but when you when you hit the when you hit the uh, for mines, at least my button configuration is the uh, left shoulder, which you know of course makes you aim while inside the game inside the car, and you'll smash your window. So, in order to control that feature. In order to control that feature, I, I had to put, I, I use, um, don't let me smash. Um, something else with a menu. There are mods out there that, that change the uh, controller configuration so that you can turn off the uh, cell phone. Within menu, you can actually turn off the in-game mobile phone. Disable it, rather. So as you can see, it won't pop up any longer. Also with menu, weapon loadouts. So now I have all my weapons that I utilize. I have the uh, LiDAR installed. So that's good to go. I also have, an, uh, I have a button configuration for rectical enable or disable. You know, you can disable it. That's a key, key binding. Um, I also have the OC spray, which is a rather new mod. Well, they, they made improvements on it. So I have OC spray installed, which is great. Okay, they're looking for somebody. Um, something else I like to utilize. I, I, I really wasn't going to turn this into a um, showcasing of mods, but I'm just, I'm just showing you the mods that I utilize. What else? Uh, I thought I had my trunk menu installed. I'm sure some people have seen me utilize that in, in other previous of my videos where I, I store things in the trunk. A lot of my, um, so I don't carry them in my weapon wheel just to make it look a little bit more, you know, better gameplay, the immersion. Um, but anyway, I guess I may not have an installed in this game. I thought I did. Let me drive forward a little bit. No, I don't think I have it installed. All right. Well, we'll take a look. We're going to go to my uh, desktop soon. That's my girl. Dinner in Vinewood tomorrow. All right. Um, and what else? I did install uh, Scene Manager, a new mod. That's an, another new mod. Very useful. Um, still, I guess the uh, developer is still making, um, uh, what's it called? It, um, making updates on it and improvements on it. But um, I, I have that installed. Um, I'm trying to think of all the mods that, that people will utilize. In this particular game, I haven't installed a bunch of callouts. This just has the base callouts. I have used it with one additional callout pack installed. But like I said, keep in mind, less is better sometimes. So if you're not going to use those callouts, no need to have it in the game. Take them out. All right. We're, gonna try, we're trying to keep uh, frames per second higher. 
So I just wanted to show you 60 frames per second within the Vinewood area. Let's teleport over to Davis Mission, well, Mission Row rather. This is another troublesome spot. But over here, as you can see, I still keep up, you know, higher 50s, 60 frames per second. You know, as you can see, it dips in and out. And I think that was actually after me installing a couple of plugins like um, C Manager. But it's still not it's still not that bad. I can live with this, you know. And I have um, the other plugin that I, I like to I utilize it a lot is um, the uh, spike strips. So I deploy the spike strips from the car. I have that. You know, so spike strips I like to use because I don't always like to rely on the um, computer for spike strips because they'll, they'll throw the spike strips down somewhere where I don't need them, you know. And I like to get in front of the vehicle, catch the vehicle and throw the spike strips down. So I have that plug in installed as well. So those two, those three in the OC spray are three plugins that I have installed. Everything else is pretty much, um, well, what's to call it, a LSPDFR plugin. For Spotlight, I utilize, I have two different ones. In one game, I have um, Vehicle Control. I put that back in, which is an old mod, which um, gives me my Spotlight. It also has the features of, um, if I can remember which one, um, which button. I don't feel like, I don't feel like looking at my little uh, cheat sheet. But there's a, there's a button, it, it has the same like search light, search light feature. I just can't remember which button is for the uh, search light. Wait, matter of fact, I think it's, uh... you know what, let me look it up. Let me take a look. Search light feature is, just bear with me, bear with me. It is okay. I'm gonna have to look it up later, but it actually does have a um, searchlight feature. I just can't. Uh, I can't find it right now. We'll, we'll look. We'll take a look at that. Maybe I'll take a look at that in the um, when we go through the uh, folder of the uh, mods that I have installed. But around Mission Road, you can take um, frame per second loss. It dips in and out, depending on what's happening. Let's make sure the police radio, let's put the police radio on. So I just wanted to show the troublesome spots with your frame per second loss, especially in the city. Henry 8. Citizens report a DUI right, on Adams Apple Boulevard. Just for the purpose of uh, the tutorial, we're going to take this call. All right, where is, where is this guy at? All right, so we have, okay. So we're going to go for that. We're going to go for that. Even though that one popped up red too, which is crazy. But this guy is coming right here towards us. Let's pull him over. Oh yeah, he's definitely he's swerving. Pull them over, actually. I don't know why it's not letting me pull them over. All right, 
right, well, it's not letting me pull up. It's not even letting me engage in a traffic stop. How are we going to let that guy go? I don't know what's going on. We make sure it's not me. Yeah, it wouldn't let me, um, it wouldn't let me blip it. Let me try and blip this guy one more time. There we go. Alright, come on, guys, pull over. And he makes it a pursuit. Officers report a suspect on the run on El Rancho Boulevard. I'm 10 eight. Right, I'm gonna try to get in front of him and de deploy some spike strips. Needed eight, eight zebra. A, uh, a, um, three, zero, eight. And I really hate a long pursuit. Yeah, I don't even think I hit his tires. Let's try that again. Oh my goodness, my own tire is popped. Backup required on El Burro Boulevard in El Burro Heights. Copy dispatch, Adam 4 en route. We are airborne and en route. Dispatch, we have a visual. Oh, he's running. I guess he tried to ditch his car. You know I'm going to hit him, right? Got another car. Oh, come on. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. I'm sorry, everyone. I did not expect. I'm going to probably uh, definitely fast forward through this, some of this. I didn't want to get into a whole pursuit gameplay. But just keep an eye on the friends for a second. That's the main purpose of the video. I mean to throw the gas can at him. What the hell? You suck. <laughs> but uh, just keep a look at the frames for a second. I'm glad this did happen. You have the right to shut the hell up. You know. Yeah, because I wouldn't have all these things on my weapon wheel. But uh, you're under arrest. So just you know, as you can see, we stayed with some good Attention. frames per second. Decent. We are code four. No further units required. Compared to what? Compared to what um, LSPDFR is known for, but um, and that's that. And like I said, it has 
I believe in the game. I have the useful um, mods that I believe a lot of people play with or utilize that, I, that I've seen in other people's videos in their gameplay, roleplay, you know, because like I said, you cannot have, you're not going to be able to have everything. It's just not going to happen. Not with LSPDFR. If you do know a way, please share with the rest of us. But it's not going to happen with LSPDFR. So, like I said, I just wanted to show some of the mods that I use for the gameplay, for roleplay. And with police, I mean, with Stop the Pet, it implemented a lot that, you know, a lot of things that everybody uses into one mod, which helped out a lot. No way. Let's get this car out of here. So I'm not playing serious, so please don't, don't take it like I'm playing serious. But I just wanted to show you, so then you would do your investigation, of course, so... We could do um, the scene management, which is, we're gonna add a waypoint 10. So going from here. Drive to here. add a cone add a cone or two so i'm just doing a quick quick thing here so add the cone there let's see if this works out for me there you go perfect a little perfect I just don't feel like taking the cones out of stop the uh, ped mod. But just to show you quickly, now we have a safe scene. And we can search the vehicle. Broken camera, another dozen, blah, blah, blah. And scene manager is working pretty well there call for the tow truck. So like I said, I still have police smart radio installed by Albo. Let's get a flatbed out here. Flatbed, assistance required on South Jamble Street. All right, so once the tow truck Dispatch gets here. calling unit four, Henry eight, citizens report, a driver under the influence on um, Elysium Field Freeway. See if we can direct him to the nearest path. All right, let's just delete the path. We're done with that anyway. No, oh, thank you. All right, we cancel that out. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to show you the mods that I have installed. And, um, you know, like I said, it's just a baseline, a little guide of how to get like better frames per second. Hopefully this helps you. So let's go to my desktop. All right, so we're back at my desktop. Meanwhile, back at my desktop. <laughs> but um, <laughs> going right into it. <clears throat> so this is what I consider my, um, this is my, what I call quick game. This is where I just add some liveries, cars, and I get right out on patrol. Um, it's up to, you know, the, my standard, what I prefer. Um, so let, let's go into the actual folder with the, within my C drive, Grand Theft Auto 5. And um, just off the top of my head, the things that I do remember. So, you know, I have menu. I already spoke about that earlier. You're going to have the Albo 1125 common.ddl file, which is another heavyweight file on the game, uh, especially with the other mods that Albo created. Um, being implemented into the game we have that you need the heap adjuster um i have manual reload 
which is um you know takes away from the automatic reload you can remove that it, it may help out as well but as you saw in my gameplay it, it really didn't hurt the game drastically no slow-mo that's just me for more realism um, I, I hate having that, you know, slow down in the game. You know, if you're going to go to your gun in a shootout, it is what it is. And, and you know, ain't no slowing down. Um, pack file limit adjuster. These you need and the heap adjuster, you need those because the more DLC packs you in, enter into the game, um, you know, you, you need those files to keep your game from crashing. Um, player location display. That's pretty much a standard. Everybody pretty much uses that. You need the script hook five. Script script hook five um, dot net. You need the script hook five file. Those are you know needed. And that's it. As you can see, real simple in my main GTA folder. Going into the scripts. All right, I did have trunk installed. I don't know why it wasn't working. Trunk. I utilize trunk for placing my weapons away into the car. So that it's not all in my weapon wheel. I, I know there's like mods like um, uh, the one where you could grab your gun from, you know, but even Stop the Ped implemented some form of that. So that particular mod to me is not really a necessity. You know, it, it was unique in the beginning, but now there's just so many other ways to do it. So like I said, placing my weapons inside the trunk and if I have to get to them during a gunfight, like I got to go get that shotgun, I get to the trunk, get it, grab it. And it is what it is. That that's just my method. Like I said, it's up to you. This is just a baseline. It's not. I'm not saying you have to do it this way. You can take mods out, put mods in, see how it works for you. See what your frame per second look like. Look like. You know, cub fix weapon swapping. I've always used this when, when I first found it in the beginning. Um, it just helps you when you're getting out the car to get to your weapon faster in the weapon wheel. That, that slight couple of seconds. Um, it works for me. I, I have no problem with it. Um, don't let me smash. That's what this is. Uh, drop weapon. I, I use that for um, role playing purposes. So when I when I find a pistol on somebody on the ground, or I pick up weapons, you know, on the scene, I take them back to the uh, station, and I'm able to, you know, drop them down within the uh, little area that they have for um, stashing, you know, for um, inventory. I should say, you know, putting away evidence. I, I use it for that purpose because it, I, I, you have everybody. I'm sure I had to remove. Um, there was a real good mod. Uh, it was interaction something. Uh, I forget what it was, but it, it, it added for um, somebody in the comments. Get down below. I, I just don't feel like looking it up. But um, inter it was interaction something. I, I just can't. I think interaction plus something like that. But um, it allows you to, to inventory. You know, at the at certain stations, but um, you know that 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 mod had a, a a high frame per second. You know, it took a, it, it caused a lot of frame per second loss in my game. At least that's what I you know the trials the trials that I did. Um, it, it, I saw that it, my game was taking a, a frame per second loss with that mod installed. It was a good mod. I, I liked it. It added to the immersion, but um, had to remove it. And uh, no recticle, that, that's my key bind for removing the recticle. Speed radar, classic radar in the car. And vehicle controller. The, this I use for the GTA 5, GTA 4 style of getting out the vehicle, well as for the um, spotlight. And let me take a look. Uh, it, it has a searchlight feature. Let me see if I had it, in, if I had it on. Interior, it has an interior light key bind. Oh, searchlight, I turned it off. Okay, I turned the searchlight control off. But it has a searchlight feature. So um, that can be implemented as well. Then we go into the LSPDFR folder. So we're going to, well, we're going to plugins first. So within the plugins folder, we have, um, as you can see, I have EUP in there. But like I said, this I will be removing once I finish um copying all the wardrobe configurations there are in eup and i have them implemented into menu and i will just be utilizing that menu only and i use that as well as for um coastal callouts which is, which has a couple of um uniforms that are configured but i use uh menu completely so this will be removed eventually it is removed in some of my other games and as i update my menu wardrobe folder i copy those into my other games 
So you still have to you still have to install the EUP uh, uniforms, but like I said, as far as the menu, you won't need it if you use menu. And we have the LSPDFR, which is you know standard mandatory, and license plate randomizer, just so you don't have that same old license plate EE that everybody knows. Uh, scene manager, spike strips. If you don't use it, don't put it in. You don't need spike strips, don't put it in. I use it. The OC spray, another plug-in. So those are all my plugins. Then as far as LSPDFR, ultimate backup, traffic policer, stop the pad, police smart radio, felony stop. If you don't use it, you just use the felony stop from stop the pad, then you don't need this. I just use it, you know, like having, and I use it in, in certain games. I'm using it in all my games. Like I said, you don't need everything in every game. If you're not going to utilize it, don't put it in. Less is better. CompuLight, ALR, ALPR light. That I use that for most of my patrols, so I, I keep it in there. But if you know, if you're not going to use it, take it out. It's not needed. And like I said, once again, less is better. And that's it as far as for for my game. For this game, that like I said, you get a high fifty to sixty frames per second, easy, you know. And like I said. I've tried it with adding one call out pack here and there. Like I said, you, you go into adding two, three call out packs, see what happens. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, you're going to really answer that many call outs. I, I, most of us do traffic stops. Not a lot of call outs be going down, depending on what you're doing. Uh, not a lot of call outs happen. So, you know, let's keep those things in mind. So this is just like a baseline for you. And then over here are the adjustment files that I added like textures you know breathalyzer texture uh, camera uh, I mean, because it's more a, a better looking camera to me the stretcher EUP packs like I said speed radar wheel the uh, baton texture um, in the game because like I said if you're going to add more cars I have extra police car slots installed in case I don't want to just add one DLC pack car I could add um, this lets you add I believe uh, an additional six vehicles, I believe. Let me see if I have it up here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let you add an additional nine vehicles to the game, you know, for those large packs. Like I told you, heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster, uh, free my keyboard is installed, remove action replay from controller. Those I did add um, motivated no assault because I, I hate hitting that B button and you punch somebody. You wasn't trying to do that. So that I use. And I will put the links for most of these mods down below in the description. Also, the uh, idea that I got from, um, I have to find it up, from a, a, another YouTuber who recommended the um, implementing EUP into menu to get rid of the EUP. Well, his was more so to get rid of the unloading the EUP menu from your plugins, which makes sense. Um... I implement, then I added the uh, OC spray, less lead through shotgun, baton, taser, radar gun. Those are the weapons that I have in, installed in my game that I utilize. Um, and these are sounds, realistic handcuff, weapon wheels, remove sound, no background, ambient music, uh, the Kiflon, and this is the uh, taser sound effect. And these are the only visuals I have. I've tried it with natural vision. Uh, remaster, which is what I pretty much use a lot, uh, but I just don't have it in this game, installed in this game right now, as of yet. It will be. But um, as of right now, like I said, I completely disable motion blur. That's just pretty much going into the visual settings and re and adding zeros in those, um, at those particular um, settings. Just, remove, just putting a zero in the visual settings, anywhere where it said motion blur. Um, and I added the... Um, the radar mask large and radar mask small. And that's it. Everything else is the standard stuff in the game. Uh, game config. You're going to need a game, need a game config. I installed infinite game config. 1868.1. Uh, These, like I said, are mandatory. Script hook. V.net. Menu. Script hook 5. Community script hook. And LSPDFR. The game itself. The mod itself. So, if you're trying to get a higher frames per second, hopefully 
This tutorial will assist you, showing you my install, a little bit of gameplay. And like I said, it's just a base baseline. You know, you don't have to stick to it, but just somewhere to start at. And take a look at my, my computer um, specs and, you know, compare them with yours. And like I said, hopefully you get a better gameplay experience. All right. So Game Boy EG, Elliot Grinch, signing off on it, signing out on another one. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Continue to like, share, subscribe, get down in the comments below, share, share the information with the rest of the community. All right. And let's try to make this gaming experience much better. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Be safe. Thank you.